Good evening, I'm Phil Payne, and I'm the Chair of Music Education here at Kansas State University. And I want to talk a little bit about the music that you heard tonight. And it comes down to three words, creating, community, connection. And so the story behind some of the music you heard tonight is all built on that. Now, as, the, as you're going to notice, you see this picture, and the music didn't go on with it. Imagine the Wabash Cannonball playing. And if you hear the Wabash Cannonball playing, you automatically can think about movement. You think about the sounds of a football, the roars of the football stadium. You think about the roars inside the Octagon of Doom. Now, all of that is all brought on through that music and defining the community. So when we work with our students and we work with them becoming teachers, we ask them to define their community. Who is their community and how can you make those connections? So, and there it is. So, so the first thing we have to do then is once we define that community, now we have to create those connections. And so we do that in several ways, but one in particular is we have a setup with Westmoreland Elementary and we go through and we implement, design, and execute an, uh, an instrument night for recruiting purposes. Our students get to work with uh, connect, creating connections with their parents, creating connections with directors, networking, creating connections with students. And this is so important in being able to do that and do that through music. So we, it allows them to create those connections. And you can see the parents, you can see the students, and we even brand it a little bit with our marching band uniforms. The next one, the next part is once we've defined the community, how do we take those connections to the community? And the way we do that, it all, this project with the music started about a year ago, and we were talking with the director of Dallas Brass, Mike Levine, and he had this moving story. Uh, he was playing a concert in Tripp, South Dakota, southeast corner of South Dakota, and a guy comes up after his concert and says, man, my mom wished she could have been here. And he was like, where's she at? At a nursing home. And he goes, well, I tell you what, we're going to take the concert to her tomorrow morning. So the next morning, 9 a.m., they show up in the nursing home, and they start playing, and they, they hit it off right, right off the bat, and they start talking about baseball. So he improvs, take me out to the ball game, and we go from there. And eventually, the next thing he knows, the nurse comes in. The nurse says, we've got to move this to the community room. He's, and, and Mike's like, why? You've got a traffic jam outside in the hallway. And so what they had <laughs> was a traffic jam. Uh, everybody was recognizing these tunes, and they were all being taken back to their childhood. And that's the moment where they realized we've made the connection. So we've made the connection to a community. And this music that we had tonight, our music education students, these are the first two. The third volume of this Brass Roots is um, all American folk tunes. And some of the songs you heard tonight was from the third volume. And our Kansas State students wrote the uh, preface on how to use this music to go beyond our classroom walls into the community and create those connections through the American folk tune. And so we, they labeled it C3. Some of this, it might be CQ. To some, it might be C3 to others. For musicians, this is a specific note on the piano. It's middle C. And it's finding the center. And, but for everyone else, it's creating community connections. And that's what we got to witness tonight with our brass quintet. Thank you so much. Have a great evening tonight here at Spotlight K-State.